trying to uh, mind map what all this uh, negative interest rates means. So traditionally, if we were to go into a bank and they would charge us 5% interest for you know opening up a savings account, I would take my $100, deposit it in the bank, and they would loan it out, use, that, use my money to make loans and make more money. And then ultimately, when they would return my money back, they would pay me my $100 back plus 5% or $5. So I would end up with $105. That's been the traditional paradigm for, for saving. But now, in a negative interest rate world, if I took interest rates were minus 5%, and I went in and deposited $100 to my bank, they would do the same thing. They would loan it out. And then ultimately when they returned it to me, they would charge, give me $100 back, but then they would charge me $5 uh, because of the negative interest rate. So I would get essentially $95 back. I would deposit 100 and I get 95 back. So that's kind of strange. So why are they doing this? Why is this happening? Well, basically what central banks are trying to do is they're trying to stimulate or increase uh, economic growth. They want to incentivize people to increase spending, consumer spending, increase, and want companies to invest in developing new products and services. And ultimately what they're also trying to do is they're trying to uh, prevent deflation where people prices are falling and people are holding off spending purchases and everything like that. So what are the impacts of this? Well, it forces people to ignore risk because they're looking for yield. And that influences that ultimately is going to increase asset prices uh, like stocks and real estate, which we see happening quite a bit. And basically it perpetuates these uh, this kind of bubble mentality. So while it's good in the short term, in the long term it can create a lot more trouble, this whole concept of negative interest rates.